What's going on guys, Stefan here. I know it's been a few weeks since I last posted a video. Sorry about that, I'm back now. I'll just go over what's been going on real quick. A couple weeks ago, I went and trained with the team for about a week. After that week, picked up a slight injury in my hip and my groin. My hips and my groins always get super tight when I'm training a lot, especially every day like that. I guess I just moved the wrong way and tweaked it. Didn't want to make it worse, so stopped training for about a week, didn't do anything, just a lot of icing, foam rolling, stretching, just trying to recover. But that brings us to this week. Earlier this week, got a couple training sessions in on my own. Very, very light, just to make sure I didn't do anything stupid to make it worse but I'm at the field today today's gonna be a little bit more intense I'll take you through exactly what I do the plan for today is to get a training session in a little bit of a bodyweight workout and then I'll show you guys kind of my prehab strengthening recovery routine I've been doing for my hips and my groins but I'm sorry the videos haven't been coming as frequently I promise there will be more but hopefully today I don't get kicked off the field I got the whole field to myself but um let's get into it <laughs> So as you guys have seen before, what I always do before getting into the actual drills are 500 juggles. I do 100 alternating between both feet, 100 with just my right, 100 with the left, 100 two touch juggles, and then 100 every 10th juggle, popping it over my head, keeping it up on the other side. This first drill I did was a dribbling drill. So 10, 15 yards away from that mini goal, I lined up 10 cones in a straight line, and then six cones zigzagging and funneling out after that. With this drill, I'm gonna be dribbling 10 yards out to that first set of cones, and then just keep close, quick touches going between those 10 cones that are in a straight line, and then once I get through those cones, that's when I start to pick up the speed a little bit with the dribbling. So because those cones are funneling out and they get wider as you go out, those first few cones are still quick, short touches, but as you get towards those fourth, fifth, sixth cones, pick up the speed a little bit more. It's a little bit more ground to cover. Once I got through that last cone, turn it around, go through the exact same thing the other direction, and then finish with a pass on goal. It's a little bit later on in the day now. Got kicked off the last field after about 20 minutes. Still got to get my training in though, so I made my way to another field, so we should be good for about two hours here and get everything I need to get done. So let's get back into it. Even though I had to go to a different field, I still set up the same exact drill and in total I did six different variations through this. So the first variation I did is a tap tap brush all using the sole of my foot. Through this first set of cones here, I'm just trying to keep my touches very quick and sharp. Once I get to the second set of cones, I'm going to be using both feet, but if I go down turning around the cones with the inside of my foot, coming back, I'm going to cut around the cones using the outside of my foot. And then same exact thing, come through the 10 cones again, finish with the pass on goal. So after that pass, I count that as one rep going down and back. So I did two reps with each of these variations, one pass with the right foot, one pass with the left foot. The second variation I did is just brush tap, brush tap, brush tap as quick as possible and then opening up my legs a little bit more going through the zigzag, just trying to make every touch as perfect as I can make it. The third variation I did is just inside, outside, inside, outside. And as far as rest goes, after I did one rep with one foot, I typically took about 30 seconds before getting into the second rep. But after I went through one time with one foot and then one time with the other foot, I took a little bit longer of a rest, probably about a minute before getting into the next variation. So the fourth and fifth sets were both just going through the entire drill using one foot. So I went through two times just using my left foot through the entire thing, two times using my right foot through the entire thing. And as you can see going through the cones, I try to keep the ball as close to the cones as possible, always making sure I have control over it. 
The final set that I did, I was facing the cones going sideways, doing that tap tap brush drill again, all using the sole of my foot going in and out of the cones. Then once I got to the second set of cones, I just brushed the ball, rolled it over with the sole of my foot through the entire thing. And that touch that takes you around the cones is very important. That first touch should take you forwards past the cones so you can get right into brushing, rolling over the ball again. This next drill I did is one of my favorites. This is the triangle dribbling to pass on goal. So I start at one end of the triangle, round all the corners with the inside of my foot using my left foot, do a little fake around that last cone and then finish with a pass on goal. So I did four times through dribbling around the cones using the inside of my foot and then four times through dribbling around the cones using the outside of my right foot but still finishing with the left foot to pass on goal. I was going to do this finishing with a pass on my right foot as well but as you guys hear after I wasn't feeling great in my groin and my hip so I decided not to. finish up the session it was good it was about an hour and 15 minutes towards the end I was feeling it my my hip my groin a little bit so I just especially with that last draw I didn't even do it with my right foot just my left but I just don't want to be making it worse I can't be making it worse now it's just not worth it so I'm just gonna take five ten minutes stretch out my groins my hips then I'll take you through a few exercises I do just to strengthen my hips and my groins we'll get a little body weight workout and that's it for the day just probably ice after this so now I'll take you through these exercises I did to strengthen my groins and my hips the first exercise I did is an isometric adductor squeeze. So your adductors are basically your inner thigh, your groin area. And all I did was lie on my back, put a ball between my knees, and just squeeze, engaging the groins, trying to bring my knees as close as possible together, just engaging that area. I held this for 20 seconds and did two sets of all the exercises you're about to see. So after that 20 seconds, just did a little bit of stretching, probably another 20 seconds, stretching out that area that I just worked. The next exercise I did were clamshells using a resistance band. So we worked on the adductors with the last exercise. This one's gonna focus more on the abductors, the outside of your hip and your glute. And I did 10 reps on each side with this. The third exercise I did was just a straight leg hold. This is working more on the front of your hip, kind of the hip flexor. All I did was flex my quads as hard as I could, engage the hip flexor, and just hold my leg there for 30 seconds. The next exercise I did is kind of like a kneeling knee drive. So what you're gonna do is kind of be in a kneeling lunge position with your hands up on a wall. And all you're gonna do is drive that one knee straight up, hold it for a second and relax. And I did 10 reps on each side. This exercise is actually quite difficult and you'll really notice the imbalances you have in each side. So for me, my right side, which is the side that I tweaked, I was actually a little bit weaker in that side than my left side. The last exercise that I did was a Copenhagen plank. Again, really good for the adductors. You could do this on a ball or a chair or whatever, just having one foot elevated and holding a side plank position. I did this for 15 seconds on each side.
that's it for me. My day is done. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Peace.